All right, before y'all get into the video, the dude, JR, he responded this morning, I think. And this is the response. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. He basically owned up to his mistakes, like he been doing and stuff like that. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, y'all, right, I'm back again with another video. So listen, man, a couple of y'all ladies been hitting me up asking me to do a story over this right here. And I'm going to tell y'all the truth. If you've been rocking with the channel for the longest, man, y'all already know I rarely cover celebrity drama and things like that. Well, whatever you want to call them, quote unquote celebrity, whatever the case may be. People that's social media influencers and things like that. But um, this year I've been doing it a lot more lately. So I'm just saying I like to say that I don't be in a loop on a lot of these situations. So... You know, it might take me a little time to gather certain things. I might get some things in career because I'd be so focused on what I'd be focused on. You feel me? But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So basically, long story short, okay, Tommy Lee. Tommy Lee was out with um, Tamar Braxton's boyfriend. Now, look, like I said before, I don't know too much about these situations. So I did my little research. I found out that um, the guy, J.R. Robinson, I think this is his name, J.R. Robinson, took out tummy lee to a basketball game and it just caused a whole bunch of commotion you know and they did break up before this and they got back together whatever the case may be i'm not for sure um but they did get back together i did find a couple of videos and threw them in here as well but uh ultimately you know i seen a clip where tamar braxton called her crackhead you know <laughs> and uh tommy lee responded so i got the response and I, I really got a timeline of what took place for the most part anyway so we're gonna go ahead and get into this i seen certain things but i didn't get to watch everything in totality so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get into this and let me know that i get that little brief summary correct but uh yeah from what i seen they broke up and they back together but he did take her out and when he took her out it just caused a whole bunch of commotion you know, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and get into this and see what the hell going on. And let me know your thoughts and opinions on this whole situation. Let's go ahead and get into it, though. People want to know the facts, Kevin. Facts. This is what I found right here. Well, we didn't get back together until... Uh, Say something. Well, the end of the night on the same Sunday. When we went to the game, we were not together at all. We were just friends. <laughs> I know Tommy talking this shit. Um, Damn. I'm engaged, I proposed. I proposed, I loved her. Some things happened. And do I accept responsibility for things that I, I failed? Absolutely. But were there things that I needed to heal from? Come on, absolutely. Thousands. Did I hurt her? Yes. Purposely. I don't hide from that. I don't, I don't have her I was single, we weren't speaking, period. But, I had to get to a place where my anger and my hurt could heal, and I healed. That's why I had to go get my man back, y'all. <laughs> If y'all thought I was gonna let my man go because he took some crackhead to a basketball game. <laughs> I know she's gonna go off. No, ma'am. I don't know what to tell you. Y'all don't need to know what to tell you. Y'all don't need to know what to tell you. Y'all don't need to know what to tell you. Y'all don't need to know what to tell you. Y'all don't need to know what Good man, Savannah. 
Nah, <laughs> this tell me Lee response. Like I said before, I ain't watched this shit. But I'm already knowing she finna cut up. And I thought Cubs was power wall this whole time, bro. I didn't know what the hell was going on. Like I said, I was oblivious to everything. But yeah, this shit crazy as hell. Let's get into this response. <laughs> oh, man. Bitch, I just had dinner with my man and my bonus children. I think I give up. I'm done. You turn this shit down. I'm... Let's get into it. So all I said was, hey. all I said was, <laughs> he had a nice suit. And from there, he was thirsty. He wanted to fly me out. What's wrong with me going to a game? What is wrong with the situation is that that is your man, as you call it. That is your man. He knew it was a situation with me and you. And he was down. He was down to play op games. I wouldn't take nothing like that serious, my love. That nigga ate my ass, and I sent him on his way. It wasn't the... Hey, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold oh, up, but they went right past me for a second. So she just said that they won together. So everything is all fair, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why she took that shot at her, but I feel like that if you are done, you shouldn't have nothing to say about nobody else because your partner chose to do this, but we don't know what type of, well, I don't know what type of relationship they had, how close they were and things like that, or if they had a situation where they were beefing. I don't know what the hell going on, but she did say op, so I guess they did have some type of backstory or some beef or some shit, but yeah, you know, ain't no reason to get mad. Let's get back into it, though. Atlanta. It wasn't the Bentleys, because I drive a Rolls Royce, that mm. got me. It wasn't, uh, I don't know, the <laughs> slick part thing he got going on. It wasn't none of that. It was when he paid for the Waldorf in points, I knew that I could no longer play this game. So it was a one-night thing. He never got one thing. JR, you never want to play with me. Mm. You don't want me to expose how you were saying that you kicked her out and mm. she went back to her mother's house. Not Mrs. Braxton. Not Mrs. <laughs> Not Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Singer with the sold out tour that JR also told me was flex. It was cap. It was she flexing. She don't have no soul. That shit between me and you was his exact words. Damn, so cool. Pillow talking, ain't it? He said you was messy. He said you went back to your mother's house. He told me a lot of things that he shouldn't tell a stranger. I just met this man yeah. less than a week. Love, if that's your man, as you say, then you need to check him. You need to really check him and check your situation and really see if you're sleeping with the enemy or not. I'm not your problem. I don't know you. I wish I was drunk. I I'm wish she I don't was know her. Right now. I wish I was drunk because now. Nah, that. I'm about to post your shit, JR. I'm about to post your shit, white boy. Mm. I tried to just let you eat my ass for the slaves. For the slaves, bitch. This whole white crackhead. I did it for, for us. For us, bitch. I don't fuck pink dicks. You got me up. Oh, my now, God. Now I'm about to post your shit. Story time. I ain't reading all this shit. Y'all can pause it here. I see the suit so well. She wore, he wore so well. There's to say his book. Because she didn't. She, 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 she didn't record yes. him. When, when he went after her, then she came out with a comment. Honestly, yeah. But I, I haven't. I mean, to you and I ain't talked to Taylor. Stay with between you and I. When I said I won't be with her. Oh. She's been trying to keep with me ever since. Oh. She's been trying to keep with me every fucking day since. Kind of corny ass nigga, bitch. Yeah, please, yeah, you know what I'm gonna do to you, boy. Sit on your head. We did. Um, mm, mm, mm. To me, I should have just reported. I should have recorded his head in my ass. I should have recorded that. But oh you know, my god! You know, personal. He never fucked me. But the, the sad situation is like we're black. Tamar, I could say your name. I know I'm not a crackhead. I live too well, baby, and I've never indulged in drugs. I don't have to keep saying that y'all gonna run with whatever. But we're two black girls letting this, this. I'm not even gonna say the race or whatever. Play with us, like tighten up, tighten up, my girl. I'm not your issue. That nigga's your issue. And sleeping with people like that and trusting them, this be the problem. Y'all be sold for the nigga and then wanna. Yeah, we had an issue. Yes, I'm gonna play with you. Oh, okay. I'm gonna play with oh, you. Yeah. But once I see the severity of the situation, I was like, yeah, this is kind of fucked up, actually, because I'm at home right now with my man and we laugh together. We don't give a fuck about this internet. 
and he would never talk to you. You could never get that nigga to look your way. Now go kiss him in the mouth, ho. Mm. <laughs> JR, I know you're trying to sell that book. I know you're trying to sell that book. And another thing, you don't wear the suits well. You look like Jimmy Cricket, nigga. I lied. I lied, bitch. I lied. Now we see why she wanted Krishan to be at her sold out tour. God damn, this is a lot of now shit right see. real fast. Nobody would even know. Nobody would even know, babe. Nobody was checking. Nobody knew, which was my exact point to begin with. Nobody would know. And you keep little shit like this going up because, and going on because nobody would know. You need to channel that energy, love. Have a seat on the couch. Before I start my day, this is the last one. I cannot carry throughout my day on this nonsense. But babe, <laughs> you need some healing. You need a tad bit of healing. Word from the alleged crackhead. You need some healing. Good day, guys. She didn't cut up like I thought she was gonna cut up, even though I wasn't really just looking for her to go crazy. But I know she do be cutting up. But overall, man, I feel like that he was doing too much goddamn pillow talking. Y'all be out here messing with these women and telling everything that you got going on, man. You better chill, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It goes for women too. Telling too much going on in your household. If you're messing around with other people, man, try to keep that shit to a minimum until y'all figure out where y'all gonna be at in life. You know, a lot of people be so temporary these days to the point where you can't trust them with no information. You know what I'm saying? People be really just here for a season, literally. You know what I'm saying? For real. So, yeah, I always keep shit to a minimum if I'm dealing with anybody, a friend, anything. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't trust you, you know? But, um... And plus, I just don't tell my personal business or other people's business around me. That ain't got shit to do with you. You know what I'm saying? If you're rocking with me, you're rocking with me. Anything else is obsolete. But, uh, yeah, man, it's just how some people move, and it is what it is. It'll never change. You know, it's just the way of the world. But I feel like being a man, you know, you should watch what you're doing out here. You know, I think we should be a little bit more careful with all this extra ass talking pillow talking and stuff like that as far as the women doing what they did it is what it is she said what she said she said what she said it is what it is man i ain't got too much more to say about this i feel like that he didn't conduct this at well but he also said that he was hurt he was angry or he was trying to hurt her all the other type of shit so everything else is null and void you know so it is what it is it's just some little petty shit that made it to the internet that's all it is really you know but uh yeah man let me know your thoughts and opinions on this whole situation and i will holler at y'all later on another video <laughs> all right